everyone, and thank you for joining me for story time today. My name is Miss Julie, and I work for the Schenectady County Public Library. Today's story time is about tails and tails. So I thought that I would wear my own favorite kind of tail, a mermaid tail. To get started, we're going to sing our hello song. I like to do sign language. So can everyone put up two fingers? And the sign for hello is like that. The song goes like this. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's get started. So this year's summer reading theme is called Tales and Tales. So tales on an animal and tales like stories. The summer reading program will open up soon. For more information, make sure that you check out our Facebook page. It's SCPL Youth and Families. It will tell you how to sign up so that you can be a part of our program. There are tons of good books about tales at the library when I was looking around. Some of them are like this. This is called Flip Flap. It's a dinosaur book. It's really fun. There's a bunch of different kinds. It's not just dinosaurs. There's farm animals, all sorts of different ones and you can get creative with the animals that you're creating. There are also books in our Science and Nature Picture Book City category that give you a lot of good information about animals. So this book, for example, says, what do you do with ears like these? And if you look inside, it gives you actual facts about what all of these animals on this page do with their ears. For example, did you know that a jackrabbit uses their ears to keep cool? I didn't know that. So if you have a little one at home who likes science and nature, check out some of our books in the dark green section. I'm going to get started today reading If I Had a Tail. If I Had a Tail by Karen Clemens Warwick. This is a Rising Moon publication. In this book, you get to guess what animal's coming next. What does this tail remind you of? Let's read the clue. If I had a tail, a tail like a log afloat, a green tail to help me swim, I would snap my tail like a cracking whip. I'd be an... What do you think? An alligator! If I had a tail, a tail like a snuggly slipper, a beautiful bushy black and white tail that I could scare a grizzly bear, I'd be a... What does this tail look like? A skunk! you. If I had a tail, a tail like a day-old pancake, a brown scaly tail, shaped like my bill, then I could duck down underwater and I would be a... What tail do you think that is? A platypus! See how his tail looks like his bill? If I had a tail, a tail like a green speckled whip, so brittle it breaks when grabbed by a hawk, then I'd scurry away to grow a new tail. Hmm. I'd be a... Lizard. Did you know that? That their tails can break off? And that's how sometimes they get away from predators. If I had a tail that gripped like a hand, then I could go down a tree nose first, or take a rest with my head hanging low. I'd be an possum. Have you ever seen a possum before? They're nocturnal, which means they only come out at night. If I had a tail, a tail like a colorful fan with plumes that unfold to glitter and shimmer, sprinkled with eyes watching you, watching me, I'd be a you ever seen a feather like this? I would be a peacock. 
If I had a tail, a tail tough as armor, a wrap around tail with bumpy, sharp spines, then I'd tie up to coral as dinner drifts by. I would be something underwater. A seahorse. Now you take a turn and imagine a tail. Just begin with these words. If I had a tail, hmm, what other animals have tails? Dogs, cats, pigs, lots and lots of animals, right? The flannel board that we're going to be doing today is a matching game. We are going to try and match the right tails to the front ends of animals. So games that are like memory and matching games are very important to do with your young ones because they improve concentration and help build your short-term memory. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different animals up here. We only have one animal that has the right front end and back end. Can you point to that animal for me? Yes, our fox, look it. He matches his whole body, his front end and his back end are both orange, making a full fox. But our other animals are a little bit mixed up, so let's straighten them out. Over here we have an elephant and a pig. Do those two things go together? I don't think so. Let's take the pigtail off of our elephant and try and find the part that's going to match up with his front end. Does anyone see it? Let's look at some of the traits of his front end. He's gray and big. Do you see a gray, big backside anywhere on this board? That's orange. That's brown. That's orange too. So that leaves us with right here. Look at that. We have one full elephant and one full fox. And I have a pink end. Do you think that that goes, matches up with our pig? I think so. Okay, so now we have a fox, an elephant, and a pig, all whole. Let's see here, we have a dog, and he's brown in the front and orange in the back. Does that look right to you? No. Let's take off his orange backside. It's got spots. Do you see the back side of our dog anywhere? We have orange and we have brown. Which one do you think belongs to the dog? The orange or the brown? You're right, the brown. So we have a dog, a fox, an elephant, and a pig. I still have this spotted backside in my hand. Do you think that that goes to the horse's front side? No, the horse is orange. Do you think that this matches with this? Orange and orange, they both match. That leaves us with the jaguar's backside. Look at that. A dog, a fox, an elephant, a pig, jaguar, and a horse. The last book I want to share with you today is one I like to do at Storytime a lot. It's by Doreen Cronin, and it is called Wiggle. Can you all wiggle at home for me? When I do story times at the library, I like to get people up and moving around. So every time you hear the word wiggle in this book, I want you to wiggle at home, okay? This is an Athenaeum Books publication. Do you wake up with a wiggle? Do you wiggle out of bed? If you wiggle with your breakfast, it might end up on your head. First, wiggle where, where your tail would be. Where would your tail be? You wiggle your backside? Then, wiggle all your hair. Feeling extra silly? Wiggle in your underwear. 
Can you wiggle with your shadow? Can you wiggle with your toys? When you wiggle with gorillas, do they make a wiggle noise? Hmm. Can you wiggle in the water? Wiggle one fin on each side. Can you wiggle one hand and then wiggle the other? Or wiggle like a crocodile. Open big and wide. Can you do that? This book is silly, huh? When you wiggle where your wings would be, wiggles fill the sky. Where would your wings be? Can you flap your arms? Can you wiggle? Wiggle slowly when with polar bears. They're very wiggle shy. Wiggle slow. Snakes are one big wiggle. No wings, no tails, no feet. Some wiggles are worth waiting for. Hmm, what is this? It's a nest. What's that? An egg. It's wiggling. What do you think's inside? Wiggle, wiggle, tweet. Wiggle, wiggle, tweet. Would you join me for a wiggle? Would you wiggle on the moon? I think we're out of wiggles now. So, see you wiggle soon. Thank you for joining me for story time today. I had a lot of fun talking about tales and tales. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page so that you can learn more about summer reading. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. For my goodbye song, I do sign language as well. So you have your two friends and they give each other a hug and the sign for goodbye is like this. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Bye everyone.